Alright, what's good, y'all? Banjo Kenny here. Back with some more heat. Ain't nobody safe, coach. Especially back at it with another P buff type of video. Hold on. Somebody was asking for this. So somebody right there gave all the information for this brand new year, 2024. So here we go. Let's get straight into it. Alright. For my centers, I got that lead double three point shot success rate with the big Joe movement speed and also the Krista. And then for my last one, I'm rocking that Camilla. It could be anybody else. But as you can see, here go the rest of my characters, double shot impediment, offensive rebound, stuff like that. But for the most part, hold on. I haven't done my Luther second P buff yet. We about to do that right now. I got enough tickets, right? Hold on. Let me get this moving speed. No? Still success rate. Hold on a minute. Coach, let me get my moving speed. So I can switch it up, please. More dunk chance. Steel success. What's going on there, coach? Where's my movement speed? You have got to be. Oh my. You can't make this stuff up. You really can't. Am I about to use all my. Alright. Whew. I'm about to say. So now that I got that situated, let me go back to the Camilla for that double rebound on my centers. It's very important if you want to be snagging out here. Now you could run double rebound, but you know. I'm only rocking one, so I can shoot more threes and be faster. Same with my power fours. I'm rocking double moving speed from the max. I'm rocking that Lulu three-point shot with the Clark three-point shot to stack it up. Now, I could, in theory, switch this up for more rebound or three-point shot attribute or whatever, but I think it goes well with the Clark double three-point shot success rate. So I think that's what you want to be using for me, at least, because that's the you know build that I have. And then I'm rocking that Deacon rebound. So for my small forwards, here we go. As you can see, Carter double three-point shot success rate with the double shot impediment from the Liu. Also, a uh, double three-point shot from Rebecca. And then the Jack's uh, no movement speed. Here you go. The other ones I have right here. Movement speed, you know, shot distance, pretty normal stuff. At first, I was rocking that Jesse P buff, but I ended up switching into Jack because I need that speed. Especially for defense, if you want to close out and stuff like that. Into the fingertip block, you know. It's pretty interchangeable, but, you know, for the most part, these are the P buffs that I'm rocking with right now. The most effective for me in my builds, all right? I'm not like anybody else. Everybody plays differently, you know, so. But here go my point guards. Double three-point shot success rate. Double moving speed on Cindy. Three-point shot distance is so important on point guards, let me tell you. And then Mika double moving speed, you know, just to be a little bit more faster. Here go everybody else. Shot impediment, layup distance, you know, stuff like that. More three-point shot from the Pedro. Mid-range shot Helena just in case I ever wanted to mid-range on my point guards. Stuff like that. But, you know, for now, we're sticking on with that moving speed, all right? Here go my shooting guards. MC shot distance increase. We also got that Rin and Walker movement speed that is really, really fast. And then we got that Jason double three point shot. Here go the rest of them. Speed, three point shot, drive speed just in case. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm ready, coach. Three point shot, blocker resist, three point shot, success straight. You know, pretty normal stuff. Except for that Fred P buff because his is horrible. But either way, those are my P buffs right there. Somebody was asking for them. So there you go. From center all the way to point guard. So hopefully you guys use that information, apply that to your builds, that we get a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this one, man. I'm out of here. Peace.